Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I am going to show you a new Power BI update that is on object interaction. So this feature is uh, not generally available for the public, it is uh, still in preview. So we will have to enable it from the preview feature. So for that let's go to file, options and settings, options and now go to preview feature. Here you can see on object interaction, click on this and click on OK. It will tell you to restart the Power BI desktop. Click on OK and let's restart. After enabling the on object interaction, when you open the Power BI desktop, you can see that we don't have the visualization and formatting pane and uh, we have this uh, data icon. Let's load a sample data set. Try a sample data set. Load sample data. I will load this financial data. Now if I select any column, let's select the uh, sales measure, sales column. So what it gives me is, uh, it's, it's giving me a card. So it is automatically suggesting me a card. So it's automatically suggesting me a card. And we have two options, one for data and one for formatting. So if I click on this data, it's saying build a visual. And it's uh, suggesting me two visual types, that is card and table. This is suggesting me uh, based on one column that is sales, which is a measure column. To uh, select any other visualization, we can select this arrow and uh, select any uh, visualizations that is available. Now uh, we have this data section where we can add another column. So let's add this country column. And you can see now it is suggesting us a bar chart, bar charts, column charts and a table. Uh, based on the two columns that is country and the uh, sum of sales so now if you notice we have something missing here in the data section we don't have the x-axis y-axis legend and uh, the tooltip sections because uh, the power bi is suggesting me based on the two columns so if i want to manually select columns and add columns what we can do is we can uh, turn off this suggest type and then we will get this x-axis y-axis legend and uh, the tooltip sections so here I can add a legend from here. Let's add a product. It's now giving me a clustered bar chart. Now we are done with the chart selection and uh, adding data section. Uh, let's move to the format pane. So when we click on this brush icon we have, we can see some, some of the formatting options like adding a zoom slider and adding data labels. But we don't have any other option for that. Uh, click on more options. So when we click on this more option, we can do formatting from here as we used to do in the earlier version. So the Power BI desktop. Now let's move to the coolest part of the video, which is going to save uh, our lot of time, which we used to spend on formatting. If I uh, right click and click on format, you can see the blue line across the border of this visualization, which means that it is now on the format mode. Uh, we can do this uh, by double clicking the visuals as well so the blue line appears and now now we can hover over anything to change suppose i hover over the uh, title it is showing me the blue line over the title if i double click on it and uh, want to change the title let's remove the sum off and uh, click enter the, our title is changed uh, if i want to uh, change the name of the sum of sales to sales just double click here and change the title whatever you want click on enter if i want to change the legend font as soon as i click on this legend option uh, you can see a le legend format pane is open here i can change the formatting from here similarly if i uh, click on this uh, color you can see the color palette is open now we can change the color from here or uh, change the spacing of the chart so this is very cool and it is uh, going to save a lot of time we used to spend on formatting so that was all about the on object interaction feature let me know in the comment section if you like this feature or not and that was it for this video if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected thank you